I just sit here and I, I wait for the Corky. Or I guess the Teemo. That's fine too. I just want to kill someone. This is how you play Assassins, man. Come on, Waffle House, walk up. Oh yeah, I mean, high high DPI is like good for League of Legends in my opinion. If you can handle it, then it's it's really good. But I don't know, man. Like for general use on your PC, having a DPI this high is just not worth it. I don't think. And for other games too, this is like the only game where your high DPI is like acceptable. You know what I mean? Like if you play any FPS, it's looked down upon to play on high DPI because it's just factually better to play on lower DPI for FPS games. Like for me, for example, I use 3200 DPI all the time, right? But if I'm playing any FPS game like COD or Battlefield or like if I decide to play Rust or something, you know, I always have to lower my DPI to 800 or 1300. Yo, their team comp is so squishy. You can see I'm going Electrocute just because I, I feel like I'm gonna own. Yeah, I use my mouse buttons. I have uh, I have two. I have these two right here that I use. I use for manual cast Q and manual cast W. That's it. Dude, I think overall our team comp is just so much better. If I get ahead, we win the game. Nope. I got creep blocked, so I couldn't queue it fast enough. So the Corky's just gonna push into us. We're in, we're in Smurf queue right now, by the way, guys. So we're not actually versing lowish. I mean, we're versing lower elo players than normal. You know what I mean? But we're not versing like silvers and golds. We're versing like diamonds and masters, probably. It's a really good trade. Now, something you gotta keep in mind about Corky is his W is a very high cooldown. So if you if you get his W, if you bait it, then it's like almost a guaranteed kill. It's down for like over 20 seconds. I'm gonna ward this bush. All right, nice. That's so worth. And we don't we don't touch the wave here at all. We just base. Alright, now they get Sork Shoes on this first recall. I don't even need to TP back. So the thing is, he can't push this cannon wave fast enough. Right? There's no reason for me to TP. If I'm TPing, it's only to get like one or two creeps. Maybe three. But I'm gonna get back to lane before he even crashes this. Or as soon as he crashes this. So I think right there I missed a total of like four creeps. Because I missed this melee too. But only the only the gold for it. So I missed three creeps there, and now I have TP advantage over him. Just because of how my wave pos was positioned when I uh, when I based there, it was slow pushing towards me, and then he also hard shoved it because he doesn't know wave management too well. All right, gonna walk bot side here. Just gonna look for the rumble, I guess. I can't fight him. Corky's coming, and I don't have enough damage to kill that guy. If I was a uh, conquer with like longsword or D blade there, that guy was dead for sure. I would have one v two them, but. Mowing uh, AP cats, so. No reason to TP on mid here as well. Waves pushing into me. I can just save it for bot lane. If they touch the tower here, I can TP behind them and kill them both. Damn, he really... I got baited by my cane so hard. He instantly went into his R, bro. Why'd he do that? He's supposed to tank at least like two more tower shots before he goes into his alts. 
but he just killed us all. Nice. Got a kill. I think I'm going to start building Bort every single game on this account as a first item. That way I can start Longsword and just not fall behind because of it. Because it feels way too hard to kill my laner if I'm going AP. I think I just definitely have to go AD. It's okay, we're going to excel soon. We just have to get our item spikes. I've said this a lot when I'm playing on this account. Is like We feel useless until we get our uh, Nasher's Tooth. That's just how it is. Just how Katarina is right now. Uh, it's like too scary because I, I can't get a lead until I get my Nash's Tooth because I'm just so weak before then. We got our Nashers now. Alright, well now we're spiked, so time to do the damages, yeah? We're gonna start one shotting the Corky. You guys just watch. I think we have time to get a plating here. Rumble's pretty low in the jungle right now. Corky's just coming off of uh, respawn, so we got one plate. Nice, got Rumble's ult. Got our TP. Might just TP on bot here to kill the MF because she's just running around here. So, <laughs> uh, whatever. I'll just take the free kill, I guess. That's a one shot. Oh, look at the class, look at the moves! Baker! What oh was God. that? Oh, his ignite got it. So whatever. That was a really good hook. My God. Yo, I got a question for you guys. Do you enjoy hand cam? Like, a serious question. Because I might just do it more. Because why not? Alright. Once we have our protobelt, then it's GG. We're 750 away, so let's just farm up, get the proto belt, and carry the game. Because that's when we'll have some magic pen, and we'll start smurfing. I think I just sit here and I, I wait for the Corky. Or I guess the Teemo. That's fine too. I just want to kill someone. This is how you play Assassins, man. Come on, Waffle House, walk up. I want to finish my Zhonyas as soon as possible. Because once I have my Zhonyas, what can their team comp do against me? You know what I mean? Like, you're already seeing me one-shot everyone. So, we're going to one-shot people and then also be unkillable. And we're scaling up with the absolute focus in the Gathering Storm. We already got 46 AP from it. You know what hit, what hit him, man. He just kept walking. Okay, well now we can buy our full Zonyas here, but... Better to just... Walk up here. Oh, I wanted that quadra kill. Now we just base, we grab a Zonyas. Do we have enough for Majai's? I don't know, man. Math is hard, so. Math, math, yes, we do have enough. Okay, now we have a total of 45 flat magic penetration, including uh, if we include the sun impact. So we do true damage to every single person on their team because my magic pen is higher than their MR. Look at the MF, for example. 35 magic resist, well, she has no resistances against me right now. So all my damage to her is true.
I died. You know, now that I think of it, instead of building a Zhonya's, I should've just went Banshee's this game. Am I trolling? Or even just Wit's End would've been better, probably. They have AP top, AP jungle, uh, Corky is mostly AP damage, everyone knows this, and Vagar's AP. Banshee's or Wit's End would've been the best. Haha, <laughs> this guy just split all the way to our inhib, because we're focused on ending the game. It's okay, I can TP in and just solo carry the game here. Nice, 21 and 5. Good game. 40k damage almost, wow.